Hi there, my name is Jack Turner. I like spices so much, I wrote a book about it. But I haven't written a cookbook, I wrote a history. I've written The Life of Spice to show you how you can spice up your life. In fact, people have been spicing up their lives, not for hundreds, but for thousands of years. Nowadays, black pepper is grown all around the tropical world, but for thousands of years, it was only grown in one place and one place only, and that was India's Kerala coast, the Malabar coast. It was here, two centuries before the birth of Christ, the Greeks came in such numbers to buy pepper that the ancient Tamil poets had a name for it. They called pepper Yavanesta, the passion of the Greeks. Today we think of pepper as a seasoning or an ingredient we use in our spice mixes, and what could be more obvious? Well, it wasn't obvious at all to the ancients who came to India for the sake of its pepper. In fact, the first time pepper appears, or for that matter, the first time India appears in the historical record, is in the year 1224 BC, when Egyptian embalmers used the spice to mummify the dead pharaoh, King Ramses II. There are three different sorts of pepper, though in fact they all come from the same plant. Green pepper is picked before the plant fully ripens and pickled before it grows its crusty black exterior. Black pepper is picked when ripe and dried in the sun and white pepper is exactly the same but with the skin taken off. Pink pepper has nothing to do with these black peppers at all. It is in fact an American plant and, if you eat too much of it, can be mildly toxic. 